weekend, I'm talking about how we should always be willing to continue to grow, to never be stayed, to never be so frozen and concrete in our judgments and our opinions. I'm going to quote someone that I don't ordinarily quote. I used to know this lady. It is Loretta Lynn, the country music star. It was a long time ago, back in the 1970s. She said, you've got to continue to grow or you're just like last night's cornbread, stale and dry. (laughs) I love that. In Proverbs, it says this, 9 verse 6, leave inexperience behind and you will live, pursue the way of understanding. Gaining spiritual maturity It takes time. Few among us possess the insight or the discipline to become an instant saint, even though we'd like to at times. And that's perfectly okay with God. God understands that none of us is perfect and that we have room right now for personal, emotional, and spiritual growth. Life is a series of decisions. Each day we make countless choices that hopefully bring us closer to God and not pull away from God. When we live according to the principles contained in the Bible, we embark on a journey, a journey towards spiritual maturity that results in an abundant life and a life that is eternally good. Are you feeling less than perfect today? Well, perhaps you are. Perhaps we all do. If so, don't fret. You don't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Now, I'm going to quote a Bible verse that a lot of people misunderstand. Be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. What this is saying is, it's not saying that you have to be perfect. It's that you can have, even in your imperfection, have the perfection of God come through you. Look at the geniuses that we look back on in history, like Mozart. As a human being, often he would bounce off the walls and then that genius, that perfection would come through him. He would allow it to happen. I've seen writers that way. I've seen speakers that way. I can remember at my church on Sunday morning, I'd be standing in back of the curtain, waiting for the curtain to open and the service to begin, and my speaker was there. And I'll tell you, the speaker just, and these are names you might recognize, They were not exactly ready for that curtain to open, if you know what I mean. And then that curtain opened. And then they stood up to that microphone and the genius of God took over. Some of the most amazing things that I have ever seen. I've seen it in soloists. I've seen it in speakers. We've seen it in writers. And we have seen it in geniuses of all types. Well, every day we must allow the perfection of God to come through us on our spiritual journey. And even though you might never achieve a complete spiritual maturity in this lifetime, you can have those moments where the perfection takes over you. And it causes you to grow when this happens. And when you allow this to happen, the results will be absolutely wonderful.